All right. So welcome to today's episode where we're going to be doing a deep dive into the fascinating topic of mm -hmm. the inner earth and the whole earth. Now, yeah. um, we know that um, there's several theories out there, right? And countless yep. um, mm -hmm. what accounts or events <laughs> yeah <laughs> or relics right or you know mm -hmm. all the good stuff basically there's a lot of research and findings out there on these um you can call them ancient civilizations advanced civilizations mm -hmm. whatever you want to call them there's a lot of theories out there that basically tell us that there is a possibility that there is um life <laughs> or there is um, advanced technology or civilizations um you know in the surface and beneath the surface of our planet right yeah so Joining us today, joining us back on the show today is our smart sister Priscilla, who is going to help us demystify <laughs> the theories, the findings, and all the good stuff um, yeah. relevant to the inner earth and the hollow earth. And um, she'll also tell us what is hidden beneath our feet. <laughs> Welcome, Priscilla. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for having me again. I'm really excited. I love this topic because it's so like, you know, it's right there. It's with us. So, and it's very, um, like you said, documented and, and on many different aspects and, and like perspectives. There's a very, uh, uh 3d military aspects of it there's the uh, you know kind of more woo woo aspect if you want there's historical there's like books there's uh all kinds so yeah <laughs> um yeah i mean to me um i guess we should start with um you know uh operation high jump with um <laughs> yeah after the war after the second uh world war Mm -hmm. uh, the United States, they sent uh, Admiral Byrd uh, in, Antar in Antarctica, okay? Yeah, uh, they sent him there with like, uh, I think it's two or three armadas. So it's like big uh, boats with planes and like a lot of people, like 10,000 people or something. Um, don't, don't quote me on that. You can look it up after, okay? But a lot of people. And, and um, Admiral yeah admiral bird yeah 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 with operation high jump it's it's declassified you know like people can go and look it up it's uh mainstream uh available so yeah and uh they were supposed to go there for six months and uh, they got there and um they met with people there <laughs> they got um you know uh <laughs> stopped like the way that he describes it in his uh journal is that his plane literally just stopped uh the motor stopped but he was still flying he was like pulled like from from a laser beam thing right mm -hmm. and they got um pulled into a tunnel into the inner earth and there they met with uh yeah the warrens of the uh the uh the realm because here um the humans we live on the surface right but there's uh it's it's i mean there's people that live inside the earth and um it's very super well documented um through so many things so anyways admiral bird he met with these people and uh they talked and they were also uh with the nazis you know and they had uh anti-gravity -gra um technology so uh anti-gravity technology oh. Oh yeah, yeah. They they got met by flying saucers. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for real. And you know, like they couldn't really. They they got dismantled, and they they came back like six weeks after, and like you know, with the tail between the legs, right? And with a message to say like, uh, listen, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, the details exactly. Not too sure, but more like uh, you know, we're watching you. We got this. We're here. You know, we're here, and just like lay low and like the uh military industrial complex um the corporations that uh run our military these people have been kind of warring with the uh breakaway nazis since that day you know um the sightings that have been seen um 
over the White House. Uh, I'm not sure of the year, but that was uh, them. You know, like a lot of sightings and a lot of the technology is either uh, our military industrial complex or them, <laughs> which, you know, I guess we could call them higher beings or i mean they don't they're not affected with all the uh, poisons that we are so they live longer they have better health they have technologies they have you know and it's yeah yeah it's very i i believe that soon you know um we'll get um news from them i i think that my guy is in the sky that it's them you know the inner earth beings so oh really and, and oh yeah yeah but and do you think that ancient mythologies and you know folklore um, yeah, yeah. can provide us with some clues as to absolutely yeah about the inner earth and civilizations because you know we have yeah, yeah. fairy tales these children's books they're not really children's books, the you know? tuata de danan the shiny ones yeah mm -hmm. the land behind the land there's a lot of folklore uh with um you know, people getting abducted and going there and coming back to see their families, like with the Native Americans here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of stories with the um, people coming out of the caves, you know, that they, the Americans here, they say that their uh, ancestors, that's how they got here from coming up from the, the caves, you know, like after the flood, I guess, or something. Mm -hmm. And um, these people, um, they're like the Atlanteans that stayed, you know, the ones that got away and that hid inside the earth and they're the ones that um in every civilizations we have like um these bearded uh people uh that um you know yeah these uh people you know they uh come up in all the folklores they come to teach certain things and um yeah come from the sea and all that you know like a lot of uh <laughs> the um like the Anunnaki, you know, they have the fish um, aspects. Um, I don't know if you know what I mean, like the um, um, depiction of them, you know, like a lot of the depictions, they portray them, well, especially like Enki, like with the uh, uh, fish god, okay, the, the they come from the sea. And um, yeah, there's, um, yeah, these people, um, there's stories also. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, think which one I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell right now. Um, I'm yeah. thinking about the Dogon, the Dogon tribe. The oh, Dogon tribe. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yes, the yeah, Dogon. yeah. Because yeah. the whole yeah. time you were talking and describing this, because we're talking about folklore, but we know the Dogon is not folklore anymore. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Of course not. The Book of Enoch and everything. Yeah. Yeah, really. There's this mm -hmm. real documented it's out there you know they could see yeah. the syrian stars constellations years. exactly exactly they have the information with that with your naked eye mm -hmm. uh, but when you also talk so i was thinking of the dogon tribe yeah and, um where are they from the dog well it's africa it's, yeah i'm not sure africa. the country but i think it's mali mm -hmm. i'm not, I'm not sure, sure please do not quote me yeah. if i'm wrong but the dogon tribe mm -hmm. in africa uh, is yeah. one a, and you want to research but i also was yeah. thinking when you talked about the inner earth and the water beans i was thinking about the folklore mostly in nigeria where okay. they talk about uh, the mommy water and yeah yes and they have the lugaru also there right or is it there no what what did you call that lugaru i think it's it's uh, in uh, haiti haiti i oh. think the lugaru yeah it's like the um uh wolf are these the inner earth beings you're talking about because well, there's a lot the Nigerian women especially women especially they they talk about being abducted and being sent to these um yeah uh, uh under the earth of course and there's this a really the, the good water. book yeah yeah there's a really really good book it's called the smoky god and it's oh. um i think it's scandinavian uh mm -hmm. fishermen in the late uh 1800s and it's written like uh 1906 i think something like that 1910. so these things they're really like um they're amazing because it's not like everybody's tampered with it like online and everything you know nowadays like you never know but these books and they um they go fish in the arctic you know up north and um in the spring there's a period where uh 
there's a little opening where usually it's always ice, right? And they pass through there and they end up like in Hyperborea and they meet with kind of giants, you know, because these people, like I said, you know, they're not affected with all the uh, chemicals and everything. So they're, they're taller, they grow older, uh, you know, they have different uh, ways of living, right? So, uh, yeah, and they meet with these people and it's crazy how they uh, describe everything. And then they go back and I think his dad, he dies, um, you know, because it's the father and a son and the son, when he comes back, he gets, you know, like they put him in a mental hospital and everything. They think he's crazy because, you know, and it's that the end of his life, he uh, gets a guy. Well, I guess that's, um, yeah. So the story must be like late 1800s because it's written early 1900s. So the guy... You know, he's the one writing it for the, the mister, you know, because the, the story's going to die and he's telling him his story. I'm having crazy chills. So I love this one, The Smoky God. Mm -hmm. And it's known that um, in, the, in Earth, they have like this uh, luminescent uh, light everywhere and everything. And also in my visions, that's how I see it. You know, like the... Um, uh, the uh, vegetation, everything glows kind of thing. It's kind of glow in the dark kind of thing, you know? Yeah. And it's a uh, bioluminescent. Thank you. And um, this is crazy. Okay. Listen, to this is insane because me, <laughs> moi, I was seeing, <laughs> I'm like, freaking out. With this. <laughs> you know, when someone goes to their native language and starts. Uh, yeah. Moi, language. because this is blowing my own mind. You know, and I never talked about this before. It's so this is like serious. a premiere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <sighs> I thought I was, I see this already through my work that I do. Okay. And I thought that these were caves. Okay. Because I, even now I see it just like a, not, you know, like caves that had been uh, constructed very long ago with, uh, uh, to, uh, how do you call that in English? The Tourelle, like, like balconies, but you can see in the middle, but it's like circular. Okay. And they have these huge crystals and the crystals, they have like these, tips that are like metallic kind of thing oh. and it's linked yeah yeah and it's linked to the clocking systems and the grids and everything okay there's a lot of them and me i thought there were caves but this guy from the military i don't know where starts telling that these are arcs and they are have been dormant kind of thing and these things are sentient and he talks about the luminescent arcs like an arc uh, like, like a arc. yeah like an arc like you say <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like spaceships, if you want, but ancient. No, go on because sentient. there's actually folklore in Africa Absolutely. that describes Earth as an arc. Yeah, it is. It is. We are kind of a spaceship kind of thing. We're like a biosphere. You know? <laughs> but I mean, it, it's like these things. There, there's some in the ocean. There, and he's been talking about those, and he's been talking about also communicating with other beings that are kind of. Mm -hmm protecting these technologies and everything and you know like everybody's like working on realigning the stargates and and everything and these maniacs you know that are like the sort of rulers or whatever you know that are dying right now <laughs> these people they're trying to yeah well they're trying to stop it with cern with uh you know uh harp with all these rituals they're doing that they're you know but i mean yeah it's it's part of it right so yeah and, and i just want to say are, one last thing be, yes. with that that's really important and people mm -hmm. really need to understand that the twin flame thing okay because me I always got that for these uh specific activations of crystals and these it's like clocks you know there's like there's 12 or 13 maybe of them and once they are all activated you know it connects to all the other things and it's like <laughs> you know it's like really crazy stuff and it's like the twin flames it's not a love thing it's a activation thing of the holding of the keys to activate these specific things you know <laughs> yeah and it's everything's been used against us you know like to uh pull us away from the true purpose of it because a lot of people are being going through the twin flame things and being you know really hurt and everything because it's not it's being psyoped like everything else right yeah with the love and light and everything it's not just love and light of course it's like you know what i mean new age uh psyop and everything i'm not saying all of it is not true of i'm course. saying that all of it is true like the good the bad and everything in between and everything is playing out and this is very multi-layered multi-dimensional imagine like a holographic streaming and streaming on the same space kind of thing 
right? Or the best example is like uh, when you're playing a video game online, people can really understand this. Me, I'm not a gamer, I'm not at all. But I understand that, let's say you and me were playing Grand Theft Auto, okay, mm -hmm. or whatever. And we can both see each other through our screens, right? And we're talking, we're hearing each other. Mm -hmm. But maybe I have a door that you don't. And maybe I have gear that you don't. But, you know, it's not, it doesn't mean that we're not inter- uh playing together and different you know what i mean so it's like that here yeah 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 and it's it's the fact that um it's not because we're both at the same place that we're seeing a certain same thing yeah you know yeah <laughs> so yeah no i totally get it and mm -hmm. and um i wanted to ask you about these stargates are these stargates on the surface of the earth in the inner earth in the whole earth where all of it stargates? all of it all of it because and again it's significant to earth well okay uh this reality all, all reality really is holographic projection of consciousness in really advanced tech kind of thing biotech we're biotech you know it's like when they zap us with electricity um we, we you know we they zap us when we uh, have a heart attack let's say or something right so it's electric we're bio electrical emanating uh machines you know we have a bio electrical field we're magnetic and it's like we're working with everything it's not like we're disconnected from and we're touching the air the air is touching everything is everything's connected it's like a, a pool with balls you know if you push one ball the whole ball every uh, Every single last one of the balls will move, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like we're collective. So even if one is doing all the stirring, it's everyone together. We're all experiencing it. So anyways, with this being said. <laughs> Where are these targets located? Do you yeah, know? well, that I don't know specifically. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I can kind of perceive it in my mind's eye with, you know, like a, the kind of lighting up stuff, but I could not say, um, you know, uh, for sure there, there must be some that are kind of known, you know, like to different people, like, I, I guess, um, you know, uh, Stonehenge, you know, I guess uh, the pyramids, uh, stuff like that, right? Uh, places there where they- different Stonehenge looking sites. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. So th those are all- We only talk about Stonehenge. It's all of so many. Of like there are so many. Yeah. You know? Well, it's they're starting to discover other ones also. They're starting to discover stuff that they really didn't expect. And the more we're gonna, you know, wake up, yeah. the more we're gonna see that this is really not what it seems. And you no, know, it really isn't. Uh, Stonehenge, you know, there are some that are more um intriguing and much more interesting than yeah you know what i mean there's so many it's just like you know and it's not just these ones those ones are like the ancient ones but the uh the uh sorry i cut you off but i mean there's no, a, there's ahead. a lot of I mean, different uh frequencies you know like let's say um of the, the water particle you can have vapor and water and ice but it's the mm -hmm. same molecule it's just under different parameters mm -hmm. so it has different abilities to interact with the uh reality right like a, a vapor can pass where ice doesn't pass so we are you know and they have the, there there is not they have but we have the the creation has different frequencies of reality at all together it's like all together and us humans we just like have to perceive it in a linear or third dimensional or you know like we're starting to be able to see it in other perspectives but it's just to be able to understand it and like uh navigate it in a way that we're able to not well to make sense of it i guess you know yeah, yeah. and what are the potential implications for um people to understand that yeah what what what's that i yeah, know i know i know i'm not i'm not yeah. at the end of the question yeah i understand um yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, the thing is that, as I said, because we're like holographic and everything, it's like the stargates, they're like the streams of information. They're like the frequency bands and the information we're going to get here. So for a while, we have been kept into a certain uh, 
radio station, a certain channel on TV that's really like this channel, you cannot look at it anymore. You're like, please, please let me out of here. <laughs> I was, it made me think of that movie, uh, Orange Mécanique. It's like an old, um, in, in English, I don't know. Orange Mécanique, it's like a, a PSYOP movie and they make him watch things and get, they keep his eyes open with a little device and everything. No, it's like oh, a wow. 1970 movies, uh, MK Ultra. Yeah, they talk about MK Ultra in that movie. Anyways, and they force him to watch the same movie, right? And the guy is like freaking out. <laughs> so yeah, we've been kept under the same kind of narrative, you know, because it was profitable to certain beings and which are kind of us also. Everything is creation. I mean, that's what people need to understand also. The good, the bad, and everything. It's all the universal consciousness kind of thing expressing itself in a way that's really like uh, polarized here. It's like yeah. that total stretching of the stretch. So, yeah, we went a, a little, uh, you know, too far, maybe, I guess. But, I mean, this is the realm for it, I suppose. And we're like, you know... To universal consciousness, everything is just like information and experience. To us living it, it's horrible and everything, but it has to be like that if we're going to experience it for real, right? Yeah. It's like... To our listeners who might be thinking, why is mm. Earth history relevant? Why should we care? It's the past. Why don't we just leave that behind and focus on the future? You know? Yeah, well, it's exactly that. The future is owning the true concepts of the reality. And the true concepts of the reality is that we are like antennas and we're the ones creating the reality. So that's why like they want us to watch the same thing on TV and uh, the narratives and everything because we're creating it literally. So as we're like aligning with the stargates and the connecting to the higher beings and understanding how all this works, like uh, coding kind of thing, coding the game, you know, through the... Because <clears throat> with quantum physics, it really explains the woo-woo and the spiritual and everything. It's where it merges and where we're able to understand it in a way that it's not like... Uh, superstition it's not like um it's science it's truth it's how it works you know so i mean like what we were saying in the beginning you were saying it really works and everything well there's science behind it you know yeah it's like it it is what it is there's quantum entanglement there's like cern right now you know cern the uh um <laughs> hydro collider uh um the one super, in super, yeah, the super collider that is uh, smashing subatomical particles to create. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are trying to bring in uh, interdimensionals. They're trying to see what they can do <laughs> because they're understanding that um, things are really changing and they're trying to cheat the game, if you want, or create alternative dimensions realities they're trying to you know mess with the quantum field and stuff like that and it's very dangerous you know like it's crazy that's insane yeah. it's yeah, insane let's kind of separate so, things so that we can yeah. see who's who and what's what right yeah so really you said interdimensional beings mm -hmm. and then we we're talking about the inner earth beings and they're yeah. the Earth beans, oh, yeah. And then there is the water beans. Can you <laughs> different beans? Yeah. So that you know, we don't think it's one and the same. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. a dimension, a dimension is literally like another reality that can have different frequencies in it. Okay, it's like a double of this multi-layered. So on this Earth, Gaia. Yeah, there's like 12 dimensions. You know, oh. for what I understand, you know, like there's See? a 12 grid system. Okay, and uh, every system is like uh, different rules, different uh, uh, um, possibilities, you know, because it's like um, the more you evolve through these ones, you're, might, you're like able to see wider and understand wider. So you're like able to access more of the, um, you know, the strings, I guess, or whatever. I don't know exactly. This is Gaia you're talking about. Mother Earth Gaia alone has 12 dimensions. Somewhere. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to mm -hmm. say, no, not the dimensions. That's it. That's the, that's what I'm saying. The dimensions, it's endless, I guess. It's like, 
there's okay. countless yeah. dimensions yeah. that's uh you know it's like it keeps on doubling itself you know like this quantum it's, it's infinite. endless it's mm -hmm. infinite exactly mm -hmm. but okay. and i'm not saying that every dimension has the same 12 grid system neither okay like i don't know <laughs> okay like i can't know this yeah. <laughs> but i, I understand really puzzle the answers that's why we're demystifying things you know what the I way mean? i see it it's like uh it's like uh grapes you know it's like mm -hmm. uh you know like the idrasil tree you know like the tree of life or the tree okay. of of creation mm -hmm. the, the i'm seeing like a neurons and i'm because the macro and the micro it's like when you look at um space or you look at your neurons same mm -hmm. thing everything is the same it's it's mm -hmm. all the same it's just like duplicating itself and experiencing itself differently yeah. it's crazy really so um yeah, I'm just going to try and stick to the inner earth and explaining the difference between that. So the inner earth beings, they're on another frequency in our reality. But like, let's say we're water and they're like vapor. Okay, so they're able to navigate differently. And they also access abilities that we don't like that we're starting to access, though, like uh, probably uh, healing themselves, changing their uh, density, maybe their appearance. That's why maybe they can control more of that, you know, like certain ones, you know, it's like they have different uh, magic. It's like uh, more um, better gear because <laughs> here we're limited. Okay, uh, it's like in the video games, right? Sometimes in the video games, you have to have your little gun and you get killed all the time because your gun sucks, right? <laughs> and you really have to build up skill to, to then access another gun that, yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. Okay, so. I totally know how to <sighs> Yeah, because the yeah. higher the levels you go, the most good stuff you get. Yeah, but it's harder for you to use them. So you have to be trained and you have to exactly. know this and you have to use it wisely because you can hurt a lot of more people and stuff like that right so yeah it's kind of like that and and also it's <laughs> yeah so these ones inside the earth i'm not saying that they're all just one bunch neither there's different you know like people and there's different i'm not saying that one um type of people is all good or all bad it's like us the humans some are good some are bad some are in between it's like we're we're all expressions of the of the universal consciousness uh in it of our in it of itself right so yeah it's really hard to say oh that's good and do this and that of course we can see that certain things are bad or having a negative yeah that's for everything impact but it's exactly. always accordingly to our own perspective you know like in the Avengers movies, uh, what's his name? Thanos. He thinks he's he's doing the right thing, right? In his head, in his you know crazy Titan head, <laughs> he thinks that he has to do this because he's gonna help the universe, right? So I don't know if you saw the movies. I really like uh, the Avengers movies, but <laughs> I've watched it in bits and pieces because I have you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've watched it with my nephews. <laughs> Yeah, it's just something that people can relate to also. And you know, actually, like the, uh, some yeah. of them like Thanos. <laughs> I, I do like him. I kinda, me, I, that's what I would say. I like everyone. Yeah, I don't, his finger. <laughs> they, they need love, you know, like, yeah. Be careful. I Thanos is the one who snaps the finger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, I think in everything, there's always the villain, the mm -hmm. good guy, bad guy, you know. Absolutely. And, yeah, because the villain. The children, there are some who say, I'm for this. You know, I like Batman and I like. Yeah. And I like yeah. everyone picks who they like for different mm -hmm. reasons. And what I find interesting with these um, sci-fi, uh, you know, movies and yeah. things is the children, the young ones, they switch sides. You know, I thought mm -hmm. because I asked them, I thought you were into that. It's like, nah, last time he, he didn't, he didn't just. But that's the thing we can we have to always change like the thing that you're sticking to one thing is not okay because that's the end of it the, the yeah they the, switch the, sides the, the, the life and sides. death and life and death it's that's uh the base uh workings of the universe everything uh you know keeps changing all the time so it keeps evolving and yeah the uh inner earth uh beings you know it's like there's the elementals also that people can you know because me like let's say uh 
when I do like the grid work, okay, and I connect with the elementals because I want to bring the higher data, if you want, of the higher ways of living and everything, the, all the good stuff through my, uh, you know, own pillar, if you want, and I connect it to the grids to spread it to the others. I get help with the trees, but the trees with the roots, and then it's like the fungi, it's like the mushrooms, you know? And that's tapping into the elementals kind of thing, you know? Like all these beings are like consciousnesses. It's not like, and the the way you see them through your mind's eye, and I'm not saying like uh, encounters in the, in the forest and stuff, that's not the same thing I'm talking about in the uh, astral or the um, um, mental realms, you know, etheric, whatever. Uh, which are very real because everything is mind, you know, it's, it's like, uh, the particles and quantum physics, it, they prove it, that it's not, it's not there, <laughs> you know, it's just like, uh, in and out. It's just like so fast that we, we, we experience it really dense, but mm -hmm. everything is not what it seems. So with this being said, when you do it like that, these, uh, interactions that you have through your mind's eye or through all this, it's always a co-creation so you're matching energy so it's always you projecting with your kind of what you think it's going to look like and it coming to you and like matching so you can interact right so the way i see it it doesn't mean that you're going to see it the same way and doesn't mean that you're not right yeah. okay so it's really um yeah we're, we're gonna have to learn to navigate this and and that's the hard thing because we've been you know really conditioned to think that things are a certain way and that's that so we'll see how things you know unfold <laughs> the biggest um i agree with you because i think mm -hmm. one of the biggest challenges that i see with a lot of people is this linear thinking yeah you know it's just one way or the other you know yeah they and the money oriented and you know yeah, and all that scientific evidence written by a specific person with a specific title and i find that to do a huge disservice yeah to a lot of people who get information through different sources yeah now, I need to be more open to this because of you know my interactions with you know uh different cultures you know mm -hmm. when I, travel, I like to go to the remote places and really yeah the natives you know mm -hmm. absolutely because they're the ones that have the real stuff it's not tempered with did and you ever hear of um yeah Go ahead, sorry. these abuelas and, <laughs> and nanas and mm -hmm. omas and yeah. things that you you learn from them is very powerful and mm -hmm. some of them have not seen a classroom and they will heal you of I'll yeah. just leave it there. That's why they're trying to break the, the, the families and everything because they know that the true knowledge goes through uh, mouth to word and through the roots and the talking of the, you know, the stories and everything. So it's very, uh, yeah, it's very powerful stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. And it every is. culture, you know, like the Himalayan mountains, that's where Shambhala is, you know. It, really? it is tell me more, tell us more about that. Yeah, well they the Tibetan uh, you know, like uh, folklore stories or they, for, to them, to us it might be like folklore, but it's not. To them it's very real and they know that it's very real. It's if you go into the mountains, you're gonna you're gonna step into those places, they're not gonna let you go there because it's like you know, accesses that they're like guarding the access to inner earth Shambhala, you know, like the Warrens, the, the ancient ones, the people that are, you know, and it's the Buddhist monks and the, these people that are very disciplined into the uh, forbidden uh, occult knowledge. And, you know, that's not for nothing that they have like the Shaolin monks, they can stand on their finger. They can almost fly. They're amazing. These ones, you know, yeah, if people you want to watch crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like Kung Fu. I mean, I love martial arts, martial arts, but the Shaolin, uh, monks with the, the Qigong. Oh my God. It's amazing. But so this, when you see they, that, you know, the guardians of the gateway, you said, to Oh, not necessarily the these ones. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily these ones, but in uh, the Himalayan mountains, yeah, that's mm -hmm. one of the access, you know, points. And mm -hmm. also, um, there's like uh, Mount Shasta in the Uni United States yeah, that has sure. a lot of stories there from the uh, mm -hmm. Telos uh, societies there. And um, there's a really, really good book. Again, I love that one. Um, oh, 
the name of the book. Yeah, you know, if people look up, I'm going to tell it to you and maybe you can put it in the, okay, uh, we yes, can put it in the, the but the, the people can just look up St. Germain, you know, like St. Germain, the, um, uh, one of the ascended masters, you know, it's, I don't know if you know of St. Germain, he's the one that's like, uh, um, linked to the, uh, violet flame and he's documented through our mainstream history with uh the nobility and uh, uh marie antoinette and everything like uh, the real saint germain right and they say that this guy he doesn't age he doesn't eat he always has you know so it's very uh linked so anyways saint germain uh with the um uh inner earth uh story i want to tell you about it's mystics and like there's this guy okay and he's like a normal guy and he lives around the manchester area and he's jogging there and he's you know doing this thing and he meets a, a person and mm -hmm. it's it's saint germain and saint germain he kind of has him go through crazy experiences and he brings him into the inner earth realms right and wow this this book is like it it, it depicts um kind of a you know, very uh, rich and royal, uh, crazy, like, uh, um, castles kind of thing, but inside the earth with statues. And yeah, it's very, uh, yeah, it's very amazing. So that's like in the 50s or something like that, that this guy writes this. And he writes this as a true book, you know, like, a, wow. he doesn't say it's fiction. He says that it's, you know, and St. Germain, he's, yeah, he's been seen through a lot of people. So... Yeah, it's part of the ascended masters, and the ascended masters—they're like the ones that are still in the body, but they ascended in this, like ascension. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> the ascension is like we're accessing the higher realms, the higher ways of living. It being here still, you know. But you're also able to be multi-dimensional in the sense that multi—you know—it's not really multi-dimensional. It's multi-inter you know um phasing through the densities more you know like the terms are are wrong here because it's like dimensions really it's more like density it's like a operational perspectives of the reality kind of thing because everything's there it's just people don't see it yeah. yeah and why do you think there was this this divide of the different arts why do you think it was necessary to divide what we call mother, you know, Atgaya, Tara, Tiamat. Yeah, well, I think we, um, there's a lot of perspectives on that one, you know? Like, if you're going to go on the perspective of the higher, higher uh, mind, it's just because it wanted to see what it was going to do, right? Oh, really? <laughs> Basically, of course, it's information. There's no uh, choosing sides, you know, for the uh, universal consciousness, right? It doesn't see things like that. And anyways, once you re-evolve from the being really negative, everybody gets back to wholeness and seeing being kind of positive. Anyways, after like six density, according to the law of one with the, the raw material, the law of one, yeah, with uh, the channelings of, uh, it's called also uh, the raw material, R-A, like as a being raw. And he's oh, yeah, like, the Egyptian god, Ra? Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, yes, no, 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 he doesn't, no. Maybe okay, it's that please. one Tell that he... I'm sure I'm not the only one confused with the name Ra. Yeah, well, I mean... The Egyptian gods and the sun god. Yeah, Ra. the ones the ones that I'm talking about right now, I'm not saying it's not the same, because... Uh, the, the sun god Ra is really the perspective of the Egyptians. So it might be the same being, but it's not of the same. Oh, it's, I'm sorry, because I'm getting like a lot of, you know, like uh, in my spine and everything. That's crazy when it does that. Yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm just talking to the consciousness, like kind of thing. Yeah, because when, when it was Ra, the sun god, it was back then, you know, so it was evolving back mm -hmm. then also so the way that it's 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 it, you know it we're all one at the end right so yeah but that one that i'm specifically talking about it's mm -hmm. um part of the blue avians like uh the extraterrestrial uh social memory complex so it's part of the same lineage of the bird you know kind of uh 
lineage through like uh, Ra and Thoth and you know um, Horus and all these ones. So it's the same thing. Kind of thing. It's just the same story, but it's really told differently and in different epochs and different perspectives and different streams because it's all at the same time. Again, it's just our these, perspective of it. These are bird beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're avian. avian. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> a little bit more about them, what they are. Uh, absolutely. About. Well, specifically These with are that. Beans or earth beans? Or no, 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 well, no. The channelings that I'm talking about here with the law of one, mm -hmm. uh, the raw material is a very, very in depth, um, you know, uh, how do you say that? Um, material i guess we could say okay it was channeled by uh, a woman and uh written and documented with two other people which are men but it was like in a scholarly manner it was university people that were studying metaphysical and stuff like that you know okay. i'm not sure of the university but it's yeah and to me it's one of the most uh you know amazing ones because every other one is kind of cross-referencing what Ra says so Ra is mm -hmm. the entity being that is connecting through the woman that is always in a very uh deep 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 trance like she's not remembering any of it when she comes back she has to listen to her things because she doesn't know what she said right because it is Ra that's speaking through her okay mm -hmm. and they talk like there are many people because they are a social memory complex so they're like embodying a whole civilization of people together as one huge being if you want i'm having crazy chill i love these people they're these, these beings are amazing you know yeah yeah a lot and they're like this yeah so a lot of things there's a what's his name um the sphere being alliances with, uh, you know, because I have to give them love because they're like the first ones that when I started studying and, and knowing what was going on with the the crafts and everything, uh, David Wilcock and what's his name, the other one? <sighs> Come on, so you can do it. <laughs> He's with this, you know what I'm talking about? Spirit, spirit being alliance. And he has a being that's called raw also, but it's kind of psy up a little bit, what's his name? Oh, anyways, whatever. So, um, yeah, these uh, beings are like a sixth density social memory complex. So when he's channeled through uh, the woman, they ask him a bunch of questions. And he always answers, I am Ra. And then he's like saying, uh, you know, we're going to explain. And he says, we, you know, like cause, cause more than one, one person. And the way they explain is really amazing and yeah me i see a lot through my mind and the way they explain it is really how i see it too and yeah it's the law of one basically saying that we're all one <laughs> and he explains that the negative to be a negative polarized being uh to ascend if you want like to have your your badge of fourth density a negative being you have to be 95 percent all negative so that's you're like a champion of negativity if you're doing that so it's like not a lot are doing that right it's like not so many so and then when they keep evolving these negative negative ones when they get to sixth density they end up being positive because they have too too much wisdom they're embodying too many different aspects too many different beings and and so they just all come back to one right so the Ra says there's nothing that's really bad quote unquote you know it's just like another path that's really really hard if you want you know so they're kind of cool if you're not cool i'm not saying it's cool but i'm just saying that to the universal consciousness the ones that are really evolving to sixth density and like he says that I think there's Kangas Khan, uh, Angus Khan, uh, I'm probably butchering his name, but yeah. Yeah, Genghis Khan, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, and there's like, uh, yeah, some some of the humans that are embodying, you know, that uh, specific dark, dark, dark aspect. But ultimately, we're all going to evolve back together, okay? So, yeah, and the inner earth beings also, they're really like the fairy people, you know? The fairy people, the Tuatha de Danan, like with the, um, 
um, Irish folklore, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me, I'm, I have Irish roots. And these ones, the land behind the land okay. and uh, the fae and everything, they're like really, yeah, they're amazing. The crystal realms and stuff like that. And it's connected to the, uh, you know, but this other guy with the Michael Sala, he's depicting with the, uh, uh, the plants that are luminescent and everything. And it's like all merging back together because we're merging with them, which it's kind of, you know, all aspects of us. Mm. Yeah. The Irish, um, I don't know whether they know this, but they have a very, very colorful history. Mm. And um, they should really, uh, I think Druids. the Irish person should do a deep, deep dive Ugh. into their ancient history. I know. I want to go there. Because they will find a lot of things. Oh, yeah. They get clues about their red hair. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And they say that the giants, they have red hair, the red hair giants. And, you know, like when they say the fallen angels that came and, and had wives and everything, that's that's them. Ah, crazy chills out. The um, Irish and the Scottish. Yeah, 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 yeah for and, sure. And I found, I was doing research um, about um, the European um, history mm -hmm. of what you would call the natives, the, yeah. you know, the indigenous, the blacks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The Moors, yeah. And um, if you're Irish and Scottish, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Let's just say I shook the tree and <laughs> <laughs> some nuts fell. <laughs> Lots of apples fell. Green apples, red apples. <laughs> I, I know. And it's crazy because you know what? Like, let's say we're 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 spacefaring nation now. And we go on a planet and they think they're gonna say, uh, oh, we're uh that 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 no, we're Terrans. We come from the planet Earth. Tara, uh, you know, like we're all like when you say a dog, the dog, it's not gonna go, oh, that's not really a dog. It's the not, it's the, you know, we're crazy with that and the borders and everything. Like there's a line on the floor here, and you cannot cross it because I told you to. And even when I was a kid, I would look at a squirrel outside and I'd be like, You think that squirrel is paying taxes? Do you think it's renting <laughs> its tree? Like okay how come the squirrel gets to do what it wants but not me <laughs> what the f you know what in god's name's happening here like y'all are all wrong <laughs> so i know and, yeah and they, you know the animals they really pimp the hell out of us we feed them <laughs> oh for sure. my cats oh my god my cats and i'm, I'm like, feeding the litter and they're like <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know. Oh, they're snob. They're <laughs> snob. They're like clean human. <laughs> but, but my cats are amazing. I love them. They're, I've never seen animals like that. Like I go outside and they follow me like a dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. and let's say I'm gardening or whatever I'm doing. They're going to lay okay. one on each side. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, they're like guardians. And yeah, they're going to run in front of me like a dog. You know how dogs just run in front of you, how they do it? The cats, they do that. I'm like, whoa, these cats are not normal. Like I'm telling you, they're following me everywhere outside. <laughs> yeah. But I, had, I, I, I knew a guy, a uh, Danish guy, and he used to walk his cat. <laughs> yeah, for, for <laughs> real. They follow me. It's crazy. But I don't let them in my room and everything because they go outside. They get like birds and stuff. Like, nah, -uh, you're not, you're not getting in my bed. No, you're not gross, go away. <laughs> you know what? <like, laughs> Well, to me, I know that people love their dogs and they sleep with their dogs, but I'm kind of, I, yeah. I don't like that. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm sensitive. No, no. No, no. <laughs> I'm with that as well. Yeah, I love them. I, I don't mind getting dirty, but I mean, come on, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, what we were saying earlier, not earlier, sorry, the other, the other day when we did the other podcast yeah. concerning the stronger aspects of the feminine you know like embodying and and snapping back into its uh yeah. initial pathways or roots or you know bigger branches yeah. or how you want to see it yeah and interesting and in, um in in my culture they believe that certain things will only be shown to someone who is honest enough to protect the knowledge absolutely so you absolutely yes for they, sure they, they were taught that the, the <laughs> never show itself 
to someone who is not capable of respecting it. Yeah, it always makes me think of like Spider Man, you know, like Spider Man, how he says, uh, with great power are. comes great responsibility. And it's true. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> Yeah, you know this is by the woman, Shira. <laughs> yeah, she, oh, I loved Shira when I was when I was. A kid. Me too. I was obsessed. By the power of Grayskull. Oh, Grayskull. <laughs> Grayskull, right? Everybody can relate today when you're a kid and you're still yeah. seeing yourself as a superhero. Yeah, you know. This was fun. Yeah, so this was yeah, we yeah. need to understand that you know we can we can access other abilities and stuff. You know. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before we went on a real, we took a, what do, you, what do you call it? We took a detour. <laughs> mm. yeah. I was about to ask you about um, the type of technology that um, you are aware of that the inner earth beings or the ancient civilizations used or had that. Um, um is reactivating maybe not really re mm -hmm. yeah that but also is is our technology you know what i mean yeah 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 well oh, for sure because, yeah because you said, i understand what you i understand because yeah because you said we are we are kind of one and the same mm -hmm. so why yeah. do they have this technology and it's not being shared why mm -hmm. do you have these advanced civilizations and you know what i mean and you're not and it yeah, it doesn't belong to you single-handedly, you know. Um, the uh, reasons uh, are very uh, complicated and multi-layered. I mean, it's not just one reason, probably, you know. But we've been uh, cut off, literally, okay, um, from the others, right? Because there's like the how do they call that? That paradox. Uh, that um, there's a lot of spaceships, but nobody sees them, right? But it's again, it's a frequency thing. And there's a, uh, cause I'm seeing like two things I wanna explain. So I think I'm gonna go with a, okay. <clears throat> In the uh, 1800s, you know, they had here on earth, the humans, we had tech that we don't have anymore. <laughs> you know, like it is well documented. They did a little reset, you know, they had they do little resets and they do big resets, like the flood, Noah's Ark and everything. That's a big reset. They flooded everything. But uh and they and they do they do like 250, 300 year small resets. Why? It's wars, you know, like we're warring, but they're warring and everybody's like, you know, until you get to a certain perspective where everybody's one there's a lot of different things happening right there's a lot of power struggles and battles and stuff and yeah uh you know agreements and you know like uh cycles stuff like that because now we're at the end of a twenty six thousand year cycle and it's really like uh the end of an age so yeah, the, the, the rulers things. are being changed you know everything is changing so um yeah so in the 1800s we had uh, like uh you know the free energy stuff with the tesla and we had a uh, you know a lot of things that we don't have now it's it's well documented you know like people need to look into it with the mud floods and um yeah the repopulation <laughs> it goes deep like there's so much crazy stuff like people were doing experiments with the hom homo homoculus and stuff like that well they were really doing it like like it was crazy they were creating hybrids and they were doing it's very well documented through a lot of the historical stuff that has been kind of pushed on the side because when and who are doing these experiments it was us the humans you know like uh, all kinds of different humans and at a certain point where the global globalists got into power which are, are like uh you know the rothschilds and the uh um you know the bankers them they created the uh um educational systems and the medical systems and all the systems that are implemented right now when these guys took over everything all the other things got pushed away and it was like one story for everybody the same story that's why the ancients they still have the other knowledge right yeah 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what happened. You pay the bankers, they bought everything and they just fucking sorry. No, that's fine. They, and sorry, they 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 just like uh overtook everything. <laughs> they created a false reality that they were gonna control through their money, through the education, through the poisons, through the food, through the blah blah blah. Okay. And um, the ancient knowledge was discarded or seen as no good. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's why they did all the uh, the crusades. And here, all the natives they got their kids taken from them, and they got you know demonized and uh, treated like they were savages and this and that. Yeah. And you know, that's like oh savage. my god, it's crazy. All these natives, you know, from all nations, everybody, you know, everyone got, and everybody got brought against the other ones like uh the black people here they say that um we enslaved them but i'm sorry but uh slave is the word says slavic okay the the whites were slaves also everybody was slaves the blacks were slaving their own people the whites were slaving their own people everybody was slaving their own people they're selling their kids and everything it's everyone but we were taught in the stupid history that is made up with the uh, bankers and what i just said that we're all enemies and we all did this to each other and it's not even that it's everyone it's them it's like anyways just a little side note here <laughs> for real <laughs> and yeah, even if it's good you brought up the the american slave trade because if you're uh, americans they're, they're getting it they're, they're not their slave story is not 100 percent. it's really rigged. rigged it's rigged yeah okay and, uh, yeah you know, they should look into the native history who are the natives you know go into like the etymology of the words also yeah because it says a lot go into like you said the family is very important go into your nana and your grandma's al yeah. photo albums yeah yeah, and yeah. Look at her there's house. a lot of they wealthy people what she was wearing the clothes yeah. how she did her hair and absolutely you know who you are. yeah absolutely and there's a lot of nobility that are all kinds of races everyone okay it's not like just one and it's not like anyone's better than no one we're all the same we're just thinking that we're better <laughs> right so that's crazy that's a division it's div divide and conquer and that's how they keep us into little squares and to like, hating each other and thinking that the enemy is the next human next to you and you have to protect your things and not share and blah 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 and live in it because the earth is super abundant like everyone has enough this is this place is paradise literally you know so yeah yeah and you can see the abundance when you're in a plane and you see all this vast land yeah I'm like it's endless yeah it's all this you know next time you're in a plane if you don't look out look out mm -hmm. and then you so, can tell yeah there is a scarcity it's abundant mm. water you know the land the valleys and the hills and it's mm. green and lavish and you know, if, even you know, yep. wherever you live, whichever country you live, all countries, you can do this. Yeah. Take a drive to the countryside and look at all the abundance. Yeah. Absolutely. Of wild fruit. We can grow our food. Like literally, you have a little seed in your apple. You know, if you take that thing and you put it in dirt, <laughs> it's gonna grow something, and you can eat from it. Like we forgot this. We literally forgot about this. That's how we're being enslaved by being dependent. You know, we have to see that there's other ways. So there was the technology that they cut off. Okay. These things that were making our lives way easier. And since then, everybody that's creating or discovering or whatever patents to go against or, you know, be free and be able to create and whatever, they just buy it and just put it on the side they don't put it out there so they're really you know keeping this like that that's one part and the other um i would say magic or technologies it's really more uh consciousness based and really more like uh with the uh crystal technologies and the ability because in our bodies we have the crystals also in our pineal gland and everything so we connect to the elemental etheric energetic grids and that's tech also we are tech we're bio uh electrical beings you know we're emitting uh and receiving uh antennas so that's another part of it so yes the tech the tesla technology and everything but also our own technology kind of owning it you know and uh, interacting with it for me one of the first beings that i really saw that it was like 
connecting to me when I was just looking at it, it was the trees, you know, I was like, man, when I look at the trees, it's like they pump up. It's like they activate, you know, like in the, the old, old games, we used to walk in the, in the game, video game, and it would activate once you're in a new map or something because it was kind of dormant, right? It's kind of just there, but waiting, you know? And then when you're there, the player in the game, then it activates, right? So it's like that. And I swear, I, I saw not too long ago, a talk about quantum physics, super advanced, uh, you know, quantum mechanics and everything. And the guy was saying that. I was like, hey, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. to do with the way you say we are one. So you Connected, talk, absolutely. You Collective consciousness. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, the people that put out videos. Say, yeah, that's yeah. my theory. I'm like, oh, no, we're all can. We're There's nothing all. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And when you see that on internet, all the people they're all talking about the same thing at the same time. Like, didn't we talk about this yesterday? I think they're spying <laughs> on us because <laughs> we're all accessing the collective consciousness. The ones that are like uh, woo woo a little bit, or the ones that are connected. You know, like. Uh, yeah <laughs> it's like yeah. a streaming um absolutely like radio frequency and you have to tune oh, into yeah. the station that it's you crazy want to to, right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know some people are listening to um you know how you used to tune into the different music yeah, yeah. Channels? you know i'm a singer, yeah. right so you know some are listening to radio soft <laughs> some yeah. are listening to rock Having, and roll yeah absolutely you know, you're tuning into what and it doesn't mean that one's not there with the other so that's well, a really good roll, way to see it. Blues, yeah. It's R&B. It's a No, but I mean, yeah. your radio can get all of them. So they're all there. The possibilities yes. are all there. You yes. know, it depends on where you're tuning in. So it's the same thing with us. That's super, like, kind of hard to understand a little bit. But when you stop a second and you think you're a radio, literally, and you're just like, cat or, or a TV, you know, you're just catching into the stream of the channel. You know, because all the channels are there. You can be in the same house and watching 10 different channels if you want. So, yeah. yeah. And that's why you should, you know, I, I'm, an, I'm a proponent of just chill out. You know, yeah. you know rock and roll may not be your thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, switch the channel and listen. Oh, it's to hard songs. sometimes, though. So. You know, you know yeah. listen to your classical music. You know, I get overwhelmed you sometimes. Gospel music. Yeah. You don't have to get upset, and you know people get so angry sometimes. I know. Change the channel. Yeah, yeah. Switch it and listen mm -hmm. to what you're vibing with. You know, maybe you're into the tango. We should. We definitely should because at the end of the day, it doesn't change much. Either you did it angry and stressed, or if you did it like you know chilling. So. Yeah. Yeah. I really enjoyed this share and, um, mm. you know, <laughs> there's a easier lot said than done though. <laughs> right? Yeah, it is easier said than done, but yeah. I think it comes with time, you know, when you just yeah. so easy just to tune the channel off <laughs> mm. and not switch it up, you know, sometimes I find that when you're in a, um, state where you're um angry or sad or whatever it's really hard to access the possibility of doing that because you're like so closed with your own pain you know but so, you know anger is an emotion like any other and exactly so that's what i'm trying to say here we need yeah. to accept that it's not because you're evolved yeah. spiritually that you're not going to be experiencing uh, anger and fear and all this and it's really like bad for the ego and the uh, no. self you know self-loathing and stuff like that because no. and being phony and then you're counterproductive when you're doing that you know so no, i think every emotion is there for a reason yeah. and a purpose mm -hmm. and it should be expressed now of course you don't want to do very you know don't take no. out of a thousand but mm -hmm. i think I have yeah. seen anger change things for the better, you know? Absolutely. Sometimes yeah, you just have you know, to do... So sick and tired yeah. of this yeah. mess in the garage. It's getting clean today. It's Sometimes, you know, people just don't understand until you really get mad at them, you know? So, <laughs> you know, I have seen righteous, I call it righteous anger. I've seen righteous anger. Absolutely. Mountains. Absolutely. So, yeah. I don't, and, I, and I, I, I've been around angry people. I don't make them feel guilty. There's I'm a difference guilty. with anger and being mean and bad, you know, like being pur pur purposefully hurting or taking from others. That's being 
mean and bad you know, and, and you know one, and, uh, yeah. and i learned something very interesting now that you said that um you know and like meyer said this she said when you speak ill of others yeah you um do the jealous and the bad stuff and the negative stuff to others it's a psychic attack you send them yeah negative and it's attack. you that's feeling like that you're feeling like that because me i don't even think about saying that about other people right so when people are always doing that it's because it's them they are Which the was ones very interesting when maya said that because yeah it's witchcraft of course she, that's what she called it she said of course it's, it's spelling Ex exactly when because you you're ill of others and you're jealous and you do these very yeah. demonic and for lack of better words i said demonic because you know we, we you're sending you're time. sending your demons we all have demons we're all yeah, yeah so I, with I have everything that word, you know with the quotation yeah right? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um she yeah when that one comes out she said some very interesting things and yeah. if you're listening you better know that is what you're doing to the people you gossip about mm -hmm. you speak ill of you you, yeah. you 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 say negative things about them you're jealous of and envious you are oh, for sure and you always get it back okay yeah. it's always going to come back to you uh, it may take a while but when you get it back you get it back and me if people are feeling like they're attacked or something like that me, I really like to say that. It's like, uh, I'm like rubber, you're like glue. Everything bounces off of me, but sticks to you. <laughs> so it's like a little <laughs> riddle. No, it's true, but it's a little riddle, right? And that's uh, like the, the, best, the best thing with the dark negative entities. They don't laugh. <laughs> so when you kind of... <laughs> <laughs> so what it's true though. So when you're kind of laughing at them and like being like they're like oh, you know like oh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna go away. Yeah, they don't like that. So when you're like doing that, I'm like rubber, you're like blue. Like everything bounces off me but sticks to you, and you imagine you're like a rubber ball, right? Yeah, yeah. Or you say return to sender and stuff like that, or you can imagine your sphere yeah. that's like a mirror. Okay, mm -hmm. that's like mirroring to so somebody's sending yeah. you love, they get love back, and somebody's sending you bullshit, they get bullshit back, you know, like yeah, literally. So if you were not aware of that, you know, they'll listen to that record. It was very good. And mm -hmm. you you also said that the same thing. That's what you know triggered my memory with that. Yeah. If you're listening yeah. and you do that, you better stop it because For sure. remember what doesn't hit you might hit your children. Yeah, and we're like all in a pool with balls, you know, like one hits the other one and it's like bing, bing, bing. And we're all in this turmoil as long as we keep hitting the other ones. Like, you know, we have to work together. And that's when we're going to be really powerful. Once we start linking up and understanding that everyone has a skill set, everybody has a piece of the, uh, you know, it's yeah. all yeah yeah hmm. hi it's always a pleasure talking to you person yeah, it's so much fun too. to hang out with no, thank you <laughs> I, I do my best <laughs> French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> French, it means this yeah, is yeah. some profound stuff it has yeah, to be yeah. original <laughs> mm, absolutely absolutely oh yeah like when i get mad at my kids i start i start you know sometimes cause I, we speak french here but sometimes i start speaking in english because i don't want necessarily daniel <laughs> to understand what i'm saying <laughs> when you switch language it's like you're in another level there <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is it really is you know when mm. when, when someone switches so languages funny. up on you you need to pay mm. attention yeah yeah you need to pay attention because they, they're on another level now <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay mm. merci 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 bienvenue <laughs> Ça fait plaisir. thank you so much I yeah really thank you this. i'm sure our audience will enjoy this as well yeah um, no thank you thank you you're thank amazing you so i love you yeah, yeah. You. I yeah. do. Too. I really enjoy. Yeah, uh, this is so much fun, and there's a mm -hmm. lot of new stuff for me. And I, and you know, I have to look up a whole lot of stuff. But you yeah. know, we yeah. love learning, anyways. You know, you can yeah. tell, right? So uh, yeah, so we, 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 we yeah, <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we have okay. to learn it all, you know. Yeah. So mm. um, thank you once again to all our listeners. I want to remind you. Yeah all that uh, priscilla's information is in the description section of this video so make sure to uh you know you know stop by check <laughs> yeah and um you know 
browse around uh, for sessions also hypnosis and regressions and you know whatever uh you know problem or questions or whatever assistance just yeah. uh, email me and, and she means it people you know what yeah. i want priscilla people are so used to um hidden agendas or someone yeah. wants something that when you genuinely yeah. say just reach out to me and ask questions they think that oh maybe she wants some no she means it just ask yeah, yeah for sure we have to we have to there be are empowered really, you really yeah. genuine good people who help you because you need the help you yeah know? and of course you know and i like lear learning and i like showing it to the people so they can do it you know a lot of people they're like healers and they want to heal you but they don't want to show you how to do it because everybody's a healer so me i really want to show it to the people so they can show it to the others and we can you know get on with this thing <laughs> i like that get on with this thing. yeah let's do this <laughs> yeah so yeah. people remember to check the description section mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um check out priscilla's work with hypnosis with different yeah. sessions ask her you know don't be shy people like just ask yeah for real there is to... in asking truly that's the only way you get the answers and the yeah. help that you need because so everything I... is is you know manifesting you have to do the little step if you want to get to it you're not going to sit there and wait for it to fall on your head right so if you want to change your life you have to do little things yeah mm -hmm. and priscilla yeah. i want you to have the last word before we head mm -hmm. out well um <laughs> i don't know be courageous people be strong and believe in yourself you know we can only change we're changing all the time so you're changing for good or bad or what but it's time to you know we're in the air the era of information so all the information is right there right yeah yeah okay <laughs> bye everyone episode, yes. thank you um i think we got a little bit smarter <laughs> mm -hmm. so until next time, next time goodbye until next time <laughs>